Hey guys, Nate here. Uh, I thought I would give you a quick rundown on antenna placement, something I've kind of discovered. When I took my new little Gobi 210 and I put one antenna out the top and one antenna out the side here, I was getting low signal, critically low signal uh, warnings on my Tyrannus. And I'm like, I don't know why, it should be perfect antenna placement. But when you come and look at the RSSI value, let's see if I can get it in there. That is my channel uh, 5 here. We're at 50s, 60s, we get down, depending on the orientation of the craft and the orientation of the antenna, you know, we can get really low, we can get, let's see, this one looks like it's getting pretty good, 60, 55, sorry about the focus. Um, so one thing I noticed was, so my guy right here, I just actually have the receiver sandwiched between the power distribution board and the Naze uh, Afro Mini, and it's just coming out and going up, and the other one is is just coming out the side here. But I was playing around with these values, and I was noticing that no matter how I uh, oriented my antenna, being this close, and how I orient oriented the craft, this close, I didn't seem to get very good signal. I mean, look at this. This is just, it's just sitting there straight up. The dead zone should be above me, so there should be no dead zones to the side and I'm getting 63 a foot away. Uh, 50, there's 55, right? So uh, what I discovered was you really kind of got to get the antennas away through carbon if possible as soon as, as soon as possible. So let me kind of show you here. There are these two little screw holes that I'm actually not using um, right here. And I'm actually going to tuck that down into there and just send it out this arm. I'll do the same thing on the other side. And I have a little zip tie here. I'm going to tuck it in, tuck it in on the bottom. Just send it out that little hole. Kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. A little hole right about there. And it's going to come out the underside of the arm, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So now, if we kind of look and zoom in here, see if I can get a good image of it. There's a little hole right there. I tuck the wire directly into that hole. That hole is meant for the screw mount uh, right here that I'm not using because my camera's in the way. No problem, I've got six others holding the top on. But either way, that's going through the four millimeter carbon. I got the same thing happening on the other side. Both of them are coming out the, uh, sorry, let me focus here. Now uh, both of them are coming out the ends, right? Here's one here, and the other one's coming out the back uh, right here. And we'll come over here, we see I'm sitting at 100% RSSI value. That's my signal strength. And I move the quad around. Let's just give a little spin here. Man, this focus is rough. Sorry, guys. Give it a spin. Still, that's 53. That's not that great. Um, but, you know, as we orient things, we're, high, we're more consistently in the higher numbers. 75, orient the antenna differently. Um, we're 69. It seems like I'm getting much better consistent. Before I was dipping, dipping all the way down into the 30s and now I'm staying above 60s. Uh, even at, you know when we first started you saw I had 100%. Uh, and it all depends on obviously your antenna orientation but it looks like what you gotta do is for each craft basically take your antennas and play with them to figure out exactly what's gonna give you the best signal. Uh, depending on orientation, right? Maybe you want to test it upside down and, and over here on this edge and, and see what you get. And, you know, by putting it through that four millimeter carbon on either side and just coming out the arms, it looks like I'm getting a whole lot better signal, you know, and just spin it towards it. it this is all bench tests, right? You would expect these high values. I was not expecting to be hitting the 30s and 40s as I was. So I just spin it around and throw it I'm you know I've got these amazing numbers now and so just to let you guys know try and get it away from all the electronics as soon as possible because just again coming through that little tiny hole right away made all the difference in getting amazing signal strength thanks don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time